Good evening, this is Hajin Lee. I am putting out a evening update for Bitcoin. So here's a familiar chart that we've been looking at for a while. This has been curling downwards, but I think what's going to happen is a, a repeat of maybe this for the MACD. It may not even go down that far. May not even probably cross the red, I think. I think it's just going to go dip and then go back up. If we zoom in here on a daily basis, we are seeing a hammer candlestick being put in. I think it's been hammering at the bottom. It's the bottom of which wave? I believe wave four. So this will again dip down and it's going to go right back up. We're already seeing a green candle for the next day. Price movement. So I don't see really too much weakness right here at all. So let's go to a cleaner hourly chart. I'm going to change my count slightly. Well, I'm going to change my count. This has, I believe, turned out to be A, B, C. It bounced right off that. And if you look at it in a more higher resolution format, you can easily see five waves going down on this. One, two, three, four, five. C wave always has five waves down. And this is clearly impulsive, you can see it. Look at that. You can see the impulse very nicely. One, two, three, four. Five. Probably has a little more higher to go. So there's been a trend change. This correction is over. So like I said, how do you know that trend change, the ABC correction is over? When you can count five waves on the C wave and when you can count f up five up waves on the trend reversal. That's the real confirmation and you've got it here just about. So what will all of this add up to? So we've got an ABC correction. A, B, C. We're going to see all new, all time new highs. That dead ahead again. Get rid of these subwaves. So when I if I go back here, we see ABC zoom out a little bit, we're gonna see Try that again. Get this out of the way. <coughs> I 
<coughs> we're going to see that an impulse, five wave impulse to that 1.618 Fibonacci area of 6200. And I had initially counted the change in the count I was going to make was I had called this A, B, and I was going to call this C. But instead of that, I'm going to make it one, two, three, four, like so. So after this five, let's put in then we will see a correction to four, most likely, and then an impulse to five. So in effect, what I'm doing is what I'm doing is I'm taking this ABC off the table now. So I'm calling this Three, four, five. So for me, count, it looks like one, two, three, four, five. Like that. So this would be the point five or five, the tippy top top. Instead of an A, B, and C, 
I think we are on our way to that tippy top. And this could happen by December or middle of November. I don't know. We'll see. And again, this translates into this region on a more higher resolution scope. We are here right now. Three, have a correction for four. It'll come to the prior wave four and up to maybe 7,200. Maybe a little more than that if this gets stretched. I'm curious if this wave four might be related to the upcoming fork for Bitcoin Gold. I haven't had the time to really research it, but I thought that fork had been delayed, but I, I don't know what the exact fundamental news on that might be, not that I've been paying attention. And then after this tippy top is reached, something's going to happen. An event or a news will arrive so that people can say because of that it went down. Meanwhile, we're counting to five. And once that five or five is in, there's got to be a retrace. And that retrace could be massive. Okay? Um, if you have any questions, please post in the comments. And I will try to get you the as soon as possible. Getting access to steam it all day has been just brutal. It's been just hanging. I uh, can't even post comments or never mind posting a blog. So the updates today have been pretty minimal as a result of that. But I hope, um, I guess the DDoS attacks are coming. I don't know if they're upgrading. Who knows? But I hope this one we will make it to you guys tonight. And we'll talk to you tomorrow in the morning. Good night. So in effect, what I'm doing is... What I'm doing is I'm taking this ABC off the table now. So I'm calling this three. Four, So for me, count, it looks like one, two, three, four,
So this would be the point 505, the tippy top top. Instead of an A, B, and C, I think we are on our way. I am going to make it one, two, three, four, like so. So after this five, let's put it in. Then we will see a correction to four, most likely, and then an impulse to five. So in effect, what I'm doing is what I'm doing is I'm taking this ABC off the table now. So I'm calling this Three, four, five. So for me, count, it looks like one, two, three, four, five. Like that. So this would be the point five or five, the tippy top top. Instead of an A, B, and C, I think we are on our way to that tippy top. And this could happen by December 
or middle of November. I don't know. We'll see. And again, this translates into this region on a more higher resolution scope. We are here right now. Three. Have a question for four. It'll come to the prior wave four. And up to maybe 7200. Maybe a little more than that. If this gets stretched. I'm curious if this wave four might be related to the upcoming fork for Bitcoin Gold. I haven't had the time to really research it, but I thought that fork had been delayed, but I, I don't know what the exact fundamental news on that might be, not that I've been paying attention. And then after this tippy top is reached, something's going to happen. An event or news will arrive so that people can say because of that it went down. Meanwhile, we're counting to five. And once that five or five is in, there's got to be a retrace. <laughs> 